Welcome to another edition of Sundays with Giovanni, where we are in Giovanni's library again. What a treat. And this time I have come to Giovanni because I've just taught a retreat. I've co-developed a, a training in natural facial rejuvenation, how to reconnect with your inner radiance. And I realize that there's kind of a misconception out there about Chinese medicine where in the West a lot of the treatment is physical symptoms, you know, when you put a needle and you treat headaches or back pain, um, and that there's a whole depth to Chinese medicine that Giovanni, as this wonderful, highly, um, highly educated scholar, um, knows about that not many other people do and it's really the spirit of the points in acupuncture and there's a vet we're going to go very generally through in this overview in this particular edition and then later we're going to discuss some of your favorite um, aspects of these spirit elements okay okay thank you all Susan. right yeah so um and if we want to go into real depth then it is in your book isn't it That's yes i wrote that book about five or six years ago now. Okay. Yes. And, um, as you can see, it's called the Psyche in Chinese Medicine. Uh, as we all know, one of the most fundamental aspects of Chinese medicine is the unity of body and mind, as, exactly. we, as we all know. Yes. To us, uh, it's normal. Yes, yes. And, and that also comes under the heading of the five elements, like these five tastes and five colors five smells, five of this and five of that, and there's the five spirits. The five spirits, which is which, what we're discussing today. Which uh, is a the ancient Chinese view of the psyche. That's why I call this book the psyche. I was undecided about the title mm -hmm. of the book. Um, I'm not so keen on the use of the word spirit, as I will probably say <laughs> in, You'll explain in, to in a us. moment. Yeah. I will explain. And the ancient Chinese view of the psyche is based on the five. It's difficult to know what to call them. Mm -hmm. In Chinese, they're actually called the five shens, like you know, the shen of the heart. And that's this this character. Is it this character? Or is that's it a shen. That's a, that this character is the shen, is a shen of the heart, or is it one of the of the five shens? Both. It's both. Both. Okay. It's the so, same word. It's the same word. That's mm -hmm. the shen of the heart, which is one of the five spirits. Mm -hmm. But Shen is also, in my opinion, well not only in my opinion, it, it, Shen is also the total of the five is Shen. Okay, so there is a grand Shen. Yes, and, and the Shen Shens. of the heart. Okay. And I also try to make it clear in my book which Shen I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. Yes. They're both called Shen and it's exactly the same character. Now, this is not commonly taught in acupuncture school. No. 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 Even now. Everybody just looks at the character for Shen and transmits as spirit. Yes. Okay. I don't. Mm -hmm. For two reasons. One, because what I would call the spirit is those five together. So it's like a grand spirit. Yeah, including the Hun and the Po, for example. Especially the Hun and the Je. Together. So we'll just explain what those words are, the hun, the Yeah, bold. in a moment, I'll say that in a moment. So what I will call the spirit is those five together, which is the shen of the heart itself, mm -hmm. the hun of the liver, the po of the lungs, the yi of the spleen, and the je of the kidneys. I would call those five together the mm -hmm. spirit. That's the spirit. But mm -hmm. the shen of the heart, I translate as mind. Mm -hmm. And I'm the only one, the only author, that translates the Shen of the Heart as mind. Everyone translates it as spirit. Yeah. yeah. I don't. The first reason is that for me the spirit includes those five together. And you see, in our episode on the Shen, you didn't talk about this because we didn't go into this much depth. No. No. The second reason, uh, and it's not only my idea, but also the idea of many of these eminent uh, sinologists whose books I've read, and they studied very much the issues of translation, mm -hmm. because Chinese language is so different than our language. One character in Chinese can mean ten different things. Yes. 
And especially one of these eminent sinologists say that we shouldn't use the word spirit because it's too Christian. <laughs> Yes. It evokes an idea of the Christian spirit, the duality of spirit and body, which Chinese medicine does not have. Yes, and that's the problem, isn't and it? And that's why I use the word mind for the shen of the heart, mm -hmm. which is totally possible because if you look at the functions of the shen of the heart, mm -hmm. I would call that the mind more than the spirit. Okay. And the spirit is the five together. Yeah. which includes the Shan of the Heart itself, plus Hun, Po, Yi, and Je. I would say especially Hun and Je together would be part of what we call the Spirit. Um, so that would be the Hun connected with the, the liver, liver and the, the Po Je. with the lungs, mm -hmm. the Yi with the skin, and crucially the Je with the kidneys, a very important one the jur of the kidneys. So you talked about especially the shen, the hun from the liver and the jur from the kidneys. kidneys. Yeah. Especially that triangle is really important. Especially those three, I would say, yes. They would be uh, very important. As they would represent what we call the psyche. The psyche. Mm -hmm. And the other two aren't? The, one, the spleen and... They're also the part of the spirit, also, of course, they are. But, uh, in my opinion, primarily those three, the Shen, the Hun, and the Je of the kidneys. Okay. Why is it important for us, as practitioners, to understand that the organs have this you know, overview of the, the five spirits? Why? Why do we need to know that? Because uh, and most of our patients have some mental emotional disturbances which will affect the body and vice versa. Yeah. Every every body and Yeah, uh, so to us it's obvious. It, yes. But in Western medicine it's all separated and, and segregated. Yes, yes. And in Chinese medicine it's it happens automatically. If you treat yes. heart seven, you're treating the the heart channel, but yep. you're treating the shen. Yeah. Automatically you're treating the shen. If you deliver three, you're treating the un. So in, in our, the program that I teach, um, which is reconnecting to your inner radiance, if you're split in different sections, which is what Western medicine teaches and Western culture, you're never going to be re reconnecting mm -hmm. to your Shen. Yes. So you've got to take that paradigm shift and think like a Chinese person in order to really reconnect with all those different parts of you. And something very interesting happened sometimes, you know, when I was practicing, that I may be treating somebody for pain in the shoulder, you know, the large intestine 15, the large intestine 11, and they come back and they have an amazing change in mm -hmm. their shen. In their shen. You know, you weren't even trying to, mm -hmm. to induce that change, but it, it just happens automatically because, as we know, in Chinese medicine, the, you know, the body and the mind are one unit, inseparable. Yeah, so that's the power of the points, isn't it? You can yes. be treating using inc supposedly mundane, what we call yes. cookbook points, yes. but they can go really deep. They're still deep. treating the shen and the yes. wound and, and the jo, whatever. So it's really important to have this uh, bigger awareness where you know, you're in, in kind of inviting the body to make those changes. Yes, and later on when I was... Um, in the process of writing that book, I actually developed like a new way of diagnosing mental emotional problems. So I identifying which of the five spirits was involved. And it could be more than one. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you could say this patient, oh, there's a problem with the germ of the kidneys. It's the, the focus, the more, most important. So is that or something? another patient is the problem with the hun not moving enough or moving too much. Could you tell us? But is in that all too cases, to in explain? all cases, by the way, the shen of the heart is always involved. It's always involved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so. When important. I use the word mind for the heart, it includes the emotions. It so includes it's, emotions. It's mind and emotions. So by definition, in any mental emotional problem, the shen of the heart is always involved. 
So it's not just intellect, it's emotion too then? Yes, yes. So. So, can you give us a little, oh, you probably can't, but a little brief way of how you diagnose which Well, uh, for example, someone who's depressed and uh, lack of willpower, lack of uh, enthusiasm, I would say that's um, a pathology of the jerk. Of the jerk. Of the jerk of the kidneys. And so, yeah. I would treat jerk and shin, yeah. kidneys and heart. Okay. Someone is depressed, but in a different way, because they have no... Uh, aims, no, um, nothing to look forward to, no aims, no projects, no goals, no goals. Mm -hmm. exactly, I would say that's a pathology of the hun, the, the hun, hun not moving enough. So, and the hun being liver, liver controls the movement. The of famous, the famous or infamous <laughs> free movement of liver chi yeah. that everyone talks about. Yeah is the physical equivalent of the moment of the home. And so, so this is where it all comes back yeah. to, the spiritual and physical being yes, connected. Yes, yeah. If you move liver chi, you're stimulating the moment of the home. So people are going to feel better emotionally, have more focus, be more, more directed. Not so much more focus, more uh, goal, goals, ideas, imagination, enthusiasm, mm -hmm. uh, like for example, many people in that uh, without uh, they don't know what to do with their lives, what, what what career to take, what do they like to do. That's I would say that's a pathology of the home. That's the home. Which is different than which is caused depression, which is different than the depression of the jaw. With the jaw, you might know what you want to do, but you don't have the energy to do it. You don't have the willpower to do it. Yeah. That's yeah. the jaw. That's the pathology of the jaw. So that's two types of depression for different reasons. Two types reason. of depression. Are there other depressions with the other organs, elements? Um, I would say those two are the main ones, yeah. They're the main ones with yeah. depression. Um, and how about the, the spleen, the yi and the pulp? The yi of the spleen is more, that's why I don't use the word spirit, uh, the yi of the spleen is more to do with memory and concentration. And. Um, yeah, memory, concentration. So it's not as maybe complex as the home, would you say? For example, let's say in the example of someone who has depression from a weakness of the jaw, mm -hmm. if they also tell you that their memory is going and they can't think clearly, then there's a pathology of the yi as well. That's the yi, so that's how as you well. Would, yeah, as well. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, and then... The po. the po. The po is different because the po is the animal soul. The, uh, you know, the hun and po are often mentioned together in Chinese books, and that's why I use the word ethereal soul for the hun. Mm -hmm. That word ethereal is my own word. The Chinese books don't use that word. They call it a soul, and the hun is uh, yang compared to the po that is yin. Mm. So the hun is the ethereal soul, and the po is the physical soul, on a physical level. So, let's go back to the example of someone who's depressed from lack of movement of the hun. If they also have physical symptoms like breathlessness or, yeah, breathlessness for example, or feeling of oppression of the chest, then there will be a pathology of the po as well. So, therefore, when the, the clue is when there's physical symptoms for the lungs, yes. the, the spleen, the yeah. heart, that, that, yeah, that you'll know that there's usually going to be some kind of spirit malaise as well. Yes, yes. yes. Can I ask, what do you have a favorite, um, a favorite. shen, a favorite element, point spirit? Points, you mean? Uh, no, not points yet, but which is, do you have a favorite element? Like, <laughs> no. Do you, do you like the hun the best or the jiu the best? It's not so much of liking it. Um, I've done more research on the hun on the and hun. the jiu, I think, than the others. The hun and the jiu. And especially the hun is absolutely crucial. That's why I keep saying you can't translate the shen and the heart as spirit mm -hmm. because you must include the hun. You have to include the hun. So then, are you saying that if your your biggest focus is 
um, the hun and the je. Is that because most people come in with presenting yes. complaints these days? Yes. Not so much um, very much and so. lung, but more the liver. Very much so. Heart, uh, liver, mm -hmm. <coughs> and kidneys. Okay. And the je of the kidneys is interesting because it can be translated so many different ways. It mm -hmm. can be willpower, I translate as willpower, determination, enthusiasm, mm -hmm. and it's also, if you look at the character for Je, has the heart at the bottom, and at the top has a character which can be a scholar or a warrior, or an important person. Mm -hmm. So it's very much part of the self, the Je of the kidneys, mm -hmm. together with the Shen of the heart. So is that where the heart and kidney Yes, and that's another, that's that another aspect of that, that famous communication mm -hmm. between heart and kidneys. And crucially, yeah, the character for Je at the bottom has the heart. Yeah. Okay, so whenever there's a Je problem, there's usually a heart problem as well. Are you saying? Yes. I, I mean, I think in any mental emotional problems, the Shen of the heart is always involved. Yeah. Always. Yeah. You can't have an intellectual problem and the Shen is healthy and the one is not. No. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so basically though, the fact that even the heart is in the character of Je, yeah. which is the kidney spirit, is amazing. It's also in the character for Yi of the spleen. I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah. The Yi of the spleen. The character for heart, is, uh, <laughs> interestingly, is not in the character for Shen. Doesn't have the heart. Here. <laughs> but that it is in the character for the Yi of the spleen. Yes and the jaw of the kidneys. So it just tells us how important the heart is. Yeah. And yet, in Chinese medicine, we also have how important the kidneys are. I mean, who, do, you, do you think that the anyone... The kidneys are the foundation. Do you think they're the foundation? Of your, not only your body, but your self. The self with the capital S. Okay, then, so here's... I'm just going to interrupt slight. Uh, you know, in, in China, how they have the school of the stomach and the mm -hmm. school of the kidney. Yes. Yeah. And to me, it was always you've got to go. Yes, digestion is important. Yes. But, yes. Um, so what you're saying is, if the kidney is the foundation, that's more important. Are you saying that? Well, I, I would belong I, if I wasn't living in the Song Dynasty. I would belong to the kidney school. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't. I mean, it's obvious that the stomach and spleen are fundamental as well. Yeah, we've got to digest. The origin, the origin of qi and blood. So. Yes. And then and there is the famous school of stomach and spleen by yes. Yin Yuan, of course. Yes. Okay, but what you're saying though is kidney is in terms it's of the this foundation. Is the foundation, so you've got to have a solid kidney. Also because it stores jing. And kidney stores jing, so which jing. comes from your parents. And jing, by the way, is also part of what we call the spirit. Another reason I don't use, I don't use, I don't translate the shen art as spirit because the spirit is also jing qi shen, the three treasures. Jing, Qi, Shen. Yes. Jing, Qi, Shen together is the spirit. So it's amazing. And crucially, it has the Jing. And it has the Jing. the kidneys. So everything is connected, isn't it, in Chinese medicine? It's all cycl cyclical, and the Jing is part of the Zhe. Mental illness in Chinese is called Jing, Shen, Bing. Jing, Shen. Bing. Bing means Bing. disease. Bing. The disease of Jing, Bing. Shen <laughs> together. So can you just explain what Jing is for our viewers? It's such an important is term. the precious essence that you inherit from your parents and determines your constitution, and your strength, which you can dissipate or you can guard, and uh, it's stored in the kidneys. Yeah. So another reason kidneys are so important. Another reason why the kidneys are so important. Yes. So. Do you have any favorite points for these different? I know that this is a lot that we're trying for to cover. For the different the five spirits. Yeah, for the different. Always five heart spirits. seven. Always. Always heart seven for. For the shen of the heart. For the shen of the heart. I would always use heart seven. Yes. Liver three for the hun. Liver three, which is a classic. Uh, lung seven for the po. Mm -hmm. Kidney uh, ren four for the kidneys. Ren four for the kidneys. Oh. So you're not using like uh, no, for, I prefer or kidney 13? 
Yeah, kidney 13 too, but Renfro, Renfro, Renfro is, Renfro is I kidney, prefer it. You know this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what else, uh, Po? Mm -hmm. With the and lungs, yeah, well, yeah, stomach, yeah, Po. The Yi. The Yi. Um, mm -hmm. Just stomach 36. Stomach 36. So very classic points you're using mm -hmm. just to really tonify all these spirits and make sure that they're in balance. Yes, and as I said, more recently in the past six or seven years, besides the ordinary, so-called ordinary diagnosis of patterns, yeah. like for example, I don't know, someone has got flame heat mm -hmm. uh, affecting the shen, I also try to diagnose which of the five shens is involved. Mm -hmm. Is this a home problem? Is it a core problem? And I use those points that I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. That's great. So this is a very simplified overview, but just to remind you that if you're not connecting with body, mind, spirit, and Jing, Qi, Shen, um, that you're not going to be able to connect with yourself. And you need strong kidney energy to have that solid sense of self. So we're going to be closing out. This is Dr. Susan Langer interviewing Giovanni Machocha in Santa Barbara, California. And we've done a very light tip of the iceberg <laughs> Um, overview of the five spirits and the grand Shen. Yes. Um, and if you want more in depth, you're going to find it in this incredible book, The Psyche. Um, to be continued in the next edition. Thank you, Giovanni. Thank you.